Thank you for watching the last episode. You've seen me uh, hack up this uh, slash 4x4 or regular slash uh, Baja Bug Beetle Volkswagen thing body. Uh, made by Proline, it is, uh, it is for a short course truck, but I managed to drop it on my uh, Axial Exoterra. There's a whole episode on that, so if you want to check that one out, uh, have a look at the playlist because I will be adding this video to a playlist as well. Right now I'm going to uh, disassemble this whole thing. I uh, cleaned up the chassis already, I cleaned up that whole uh, interior because uh, there was a lot of, uh, uh, I think, French dust in there. Uh, I took this thing uh, with me on a holiday uh, this summer and uh, well, I had a blast with it. But I uh, also brought back some unwanted souvenirs, so I found a lot of... Uh, weird things on the inside, some dead bugs and whatnot. Uh, anyway, this bug still needs to come alive, so uh, I'll be taking this off right now, going to give it a good wash. There's always uh, a molding residue stick uh, that sticks to the inside of a body, so you uh, want to make sure to get rid of that. So I'm going to use some uh, hand soap and uh, a kitchen sponge to, uh, to get rid of it, uh, dry it out completely, and then I'm going to mask it up. So I will be right back and then I will, uh, I will tell you what I'm going to do to this car. The design that I put on this car is a Hot Wheels design. I was googling a custom Volkswagen Beetle. Well, it really doesn't get any easier than that. I stumbled upon a, a Hot Wheels car that looked, I think, totally awesome. Combining, well, sort of like everything that, uh, that I always look for in a, a classic paint scheme. Some flames, uh, some scallops, some, some pinstriping. So I just went ahead and I put most of that design on here. There's a few major differences, which I will of course point out. One of them is uh, uh, the sunroof over here that uh, Hot Wheels car had like a massive sunroof. So uh, in uh, one of those tiny die cast cars, you can have a close look at the interior. I don't want to do that because I want the thing to look uh, functional. So I made a tiny sunroof, which will just fit in between the, the front and that uh, rear mount of the light bar. Sunroof will also give you a bit of a closer look on the uh, interior. Uh, as you know, I started out from uh, a kit-based uh, Exoterra, so I actually have that uh, whole scale-looking interior as well, which I want to uh, sort of highlight. So adding a sunroof will give you a bit more of a, a see-through once the uh, once the whole car is done. Um, compared to the other paint jobs that I recently did, uh, the GTA 5 body and uh, the Ford Raptor, pointing over here, you get to believe me, those cars are standing on the table right here. I'm not going to tint the windows just because I want it to be as transparent as possible. The other two cars were uh, uh, for my short course truck. There's nothing to see on the interior over there uh, except for a bunch of messy electronics. Uh, this one is going to be more of a looker. Around the cutouts that I uh, that I made over here for the for the rear shots, but also for the fronts, I want something that looks a bit like it's uh, it's been reinforced with uh, either stainless steel or uh, aluminium. So I'm going to add a silver ring around it. Uh, I'm going to flat clear that one on the outside. Uh, on the roof over here, I put an, an axial logo. You will be able to see that in the in the close-ups. Surrounded that with a bit of flame as well, and those flames I'm going to fill in with uh, a PS53 flake. So you will only be able to see them once the once the light hits it. So especially outside, that will that will that will show. Uh, not so much on the inside. I hope I'll be able to show you once the once the car is completely done. But this is a really simple uh, and efficient technique to uh, to put something extra in your paint job won't take away too much of the focus of the rest of your design, but uh, it does give it a, a tiny bit extra. If you have the opportunity and you want to be able to paint a bit uh, more efficient, I can highly recommend to you getting one of these lamps. This is a TL lamp. The biggest benefit of one of those is they don't get really super hot, so you'll be able to actually lean on them when you're cutting. Uh, you'll be able to use them when designing and it makes life so much easier using one of these. Uh, once you put it on, I suggest uh, keeping your paint a bit close. We'll, uh, we'll keep it at a, at a nice working temperature uh, so you don't have to put it on, uh, on any other heating system or whatnot. Uh, you can even put your coffee cup on there once, you, uh, once you're working uh, just to keep it warm which is one of those uh, nice extra benefits of uh, having one of these lamps. They don't take a whole lot of uh, electricity. And uh, well, the only, the only downside is that uh, you'll be looking inside them. I'll uh, turn it on. You'll be looking in that lamp for uh, hours on end. 
you can tell I'm still really bad at muting my stuff. Um, but you can tell once you put your uh, lines on the outside of your shell with your uh, Sharpie, like this, it's super easy to just have a peek through and uh, hit everything with your uh, scalpel. Make sure to double or triple check everything before you uh, put in your first coat of paint. That will uh, save you a whole lot of work uh, instead of finding out in hindsight that you missed a few cuts and you need to uh, go mess around with your fresh paint. You don't want to do that. Another really worthy and uh, important investment is one of these uh, filter masks. This is a 3M filter mask, uh, professional, uh, not that I'm a professional, but I do paint a lot and I was really getting uh, sick and tired of making uh, Picasso's in uh, handkerchiefs once I was done uh, painting because trust me, you will breathe in a lot of material if you uh, paint unprotected. So, uh, well, as they, as they say in, uh, in school, once they uh, start explaining you about uh, certain stuff, uh, make sure to be safe and uh, protection first. Well, I tackled the first and the second part of the paint job. Uh, I started out with a coat of uh, metallic blue. Uh, this all needs to be backed with black, so uh, it will save me a lot of work as well. If you start out with a metallic color, uh, since at some point in your paint scheme, most likely you will encounter a black, uh, it will save you a, a whole lot of masking. If your uh, first uh, uh, biggest coat, if, the, if it is a metallic color, you don't have to mask up the entire body, you can just mask up the parts that need to be uh, altered and that you want to customize. I hope that makes any sense because it was a really long sentence. Um, anyway, afterwards I peeled out those uh, flames that are going to be ghosted in. You won't be able to see them at all right now. Um, I think later on, or perhaps even uh, in daylight, they will show. Uh, but for now you won't be able to, uh, to see all that much of them. Afterwards I, uh, I unmasked the, the rest of the panels and uh, Gave that a coat of metallic blue as well. Right now I'm at the, the stage where I'm going to put on some black. As you can see with the lamp on, I, I do really thin coats of paint. You don't need a whole lot of paint. My paint uh, cans, they last forever. If I turn off the light and allow the camera to adjust a tiny bit, you can tell that it actually it's covered. So you don't need uh, to completely drip it in paint, uh, so to say. You don't need to put on a super thick layer. Uh, that will only give you a lot of trouble uh, on, the, on the road ahead. It will only make uh, unmasking the rest a whole lot more difficult. Uh, it will become a real pain in the butt. As you can tell uh, over here on the sides of these panels, I also painted up some uh, some gun metal just to give it a bit more of a, an accent. Uh, sorry for the fingernails, I look like uh, I'm a member of uh, Deep Bash mode, but that's just uh, from me holding the shell and uh, twisting it around a tiny bit. Uh, right now I uh, unmasked these uh, window trims, those uh, need to be black, everything needs to be backed. So uh, I'll be doing that right now and uh, after that I'm ready for those uh, final few colors. Well there you go, with a few simple ingredients I managed to give this uh, Axial Exoterra a completely different look. It also looks, uh, I think, a fair bit different from what uh, Axial did on their blog. I didn't use that many parts to uh, convert it. Uh, in fact, I only used those, uh, those two track suspens and uh, two t tiny bits of uh, uh, plastic to make some body posts on the sides. And uh, I think with the cutouts in the back over here, where my uh, rear shocks are, uh, combined with those in the front, uh, adding the spoiler and adding these spare bits of uh, Lexan on the back of the cage, it gives it a bit more of a complete look compared to uh, what I've seen on their page. Not to knock that because it was a great design and it was what inspired me to do this, but uh, yeah, you know, I wanted to give it a tiny bit of a twist. Mine also has an uh, interior which you can uh, see perfectly through the sunroof and uh, through the windows. Again, I didn't use any window tint this time around to make sure that uh, that interior is uh, fully visible. I might be adding a steering wheel in there to, uh, to just uh, completely finish it off. Um, around the shocks over here I added some uh, flat clear. Also, as always, around the windows just to make them look uh, like they have an actual window bead going on around them. Uh, and other than that, well, I think I kept it fairly simple. I faded in a tiny bit of uh, gun metal around uh, the panels where you have those uh, uh, 
uh, flake flames to call them like that because I don't know any other uh, name for them. I hope that it will show well on video that uh, there is actually a tiny bit of an effect going on in there and otherwise I'm pretty sure you will see it this summer once I take this car out again, once the snow is gone. I think with the use of uh, simple colors, the, the white, the red and the blue, it kind of goes back to the Herbie era. Uh, movies that we are all uh, familiar with, whether it's the, the true classic or the, the Lindsay Lohan uh, version because I think she also uh, did like a remake of that movie totally, totally screwing it up for all of us that uh, were familiar with uh, the good version of it. So go watch the old version of uh, Herbie, not uh, the Lindsay Lohan version and you will actually like the car. Uh, and also going back to the whole uh, Hot Wheels era with uh, with that, uh, that paint scheme that I sort of replicated. I think it uh, turned out really nice. Uh, Volkswagen Beetle, it's a true classic and uh, I always wanted to have one. And now I do. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be a tiny bit ahead of uh, what's going on here on YouTube, I've said this before, I have the slowest internet speed on the planet. I'm uploading uh, videos with uh, dial-up. Uh, so it's not going really fast, so uh, it, this is kind of like a time machine. What you are seeing right now took place well, likely a few days ago. So if you want to be a tiny bit ahead, my Facebook is properly working, so uh, make sure to check out my Facebook page. There's always uh, pictures coming up over there of uh, what I'm doing at the moment. So you most likely will have seen this car completely finished already on my Facebook page. Check out that link. Also, uh, if you want to uh, stay warm in winter like I do, check out the link in the description box. And most important, why is there a 10 on the back over here? New. Um, if you enter Hemistorm 10 on the ProLineRacing.com website, again, a link in the description box, you will get 10% off on your purchase. That goes for all products. I hope that will uh, help you out a tiny bit. I think it's really important to keep the hobby as affordable as possible. And, uh, well, thank you so much, ProLine, for assisting me to supply you with a code. Take care, and I hope to see you around.